I'm ready to create a nice soft curve here at the bottom of my line so that my backdrop will have some interesting shape to it at the bottom instead of just this silly angle bracket. So 3ds Max makes it really easy for me to do that using the Fillet tool. I'm going to maximize that view with Alt-W. I've got my line selected. And you'll see in the Modify panel I've got all the usual editable spline tools. I'm going to enter Vertex Subobject Mode and select this bottom corner vertex here. And I'm going to fill it that vertex. And what that's going to do is it's going to convert it into a curved segment. You'll find the Fillet tool here under the Geometry Rollout. So it's near the bottom. You'll see Fillet. There are a couple different ways of doing this. One would be to click on the button and then click on the vertex. You'll see we're getting a fillet. I've got my snaps turned on, so I'm going to turn that off so we're not distracted by that. So that's all there is to that using the interactive fillet creation method. I'm going to hit Control Z and undo that and show you the other way of doing it, which is to select the vertex and then go over here to fillet, activate the tool, and then enter a value in feet and inches here, or just drag. Either way, I end up with a nice soft curve there. And actually, because this was a right angle originally, this is now actually one-fourth of a circle. So it's an arc that's exactly 90 degrees.